Hey, how's it going guys? Um, making another one of these videos again because I seem to enjoy myself when I do these. And so uh, I've, got, I've got something fun today. <laughs> I've got something very interesting. So uh, let me do a little backstory and then we'll get into what we're going to be tasting, uh, what we're going to be trying out. So uh, the other day um, I was shopping at a grocery outlet. And um, I was perusing the alcohol area. I ended up, you know, getting a six pack of, of a beer, but there was something else. And I looked at it for a while and I was actually with a, with a friend who was helping me out uh, with a ride. We found, we discovered this whiskey, I guess I'll say it, that is out of a box and I looked at it and I was like, oh, it'd be kind of funny to do a video of that, but it's, it can't be good. <laughs> and I don't really need to spend the money. And so uh, he was like, fine, fine. I'll buy it for you. Get your six pack of beer. Let's get going. And so, I mean, okay. So I think the reason he didn't really have a big problem with buying it for me um, and, 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 is because well let me just show you let me just show you and and then then i'll tell you the price actually i'm going to tell you the price first um it, <laughs> it was i believe it was six dollars and 99 cents <laughs> and and so i was like okay let's do this and so we found this at grocery outlet it's called <laughs> it is whiskey out of a box people <laughs> and uh so it, it, it's not called that i just i can't help but <laughs> listen to it okay it's <laughs> wicked 87 spirits american whiskey let's see what else does it say on here it's great for camping skiing anywhere beach the game everywhere <laughs> that's what it says right there right there right there go box. this is the go box this is the go box people <laughs> uh anything else anything else interesting to read about on here uh well it's a 750 milliliter bottle oh bottle <laughs> uh it is 43.5 percent alcohol so it's 87 proof i see what they did there <laughs> and oh you know good thing to know here it's it's recycled it's eco-friendly this box is totally recyclable once you're done and uh here's here's what also caught our caught our attention was it looks like a gas can or an oil can an old one at that and they did a really good job of making it look really old and ugly and uh anyways okay all right all right let's get into it i have no idea how to open this thing but it does say press circle and lift tap tab flap i can read all right so uh let's give this a shot let's give this a shot so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna push that in and i'm gonna lift these flaps oh they kind of open up like a door <laughs> All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got something else in here? Oh, no. No. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I see. I see. Ooh, oh, I found it. <laughs> there's a little there's a little tap in here. Um All right. So I just got to get that tap out of here and make All right. Bring it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that is awesome. Okay, so it has a little, it's, it's, it's got a little, it's sealed. This is fresh. This is fresh. Man, I wonder what kind of whiskey it is. I don't know, it doesn't say, oh, oh, I guess I should say it's produced, it says produced for Wicked Tango and Sage Beverages, bottled, <laughs> bottled by, yeah, you mean boxed by, um, High Plains Incorporate, uh, it's out of Atchison, Kansas City. Okay, 
There's a little more. Right there's that. There's that easy pour spout it talks about right there on the top. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Don't forget. It's got a push and go handle right in the top there. You just push that down. Now I can carry it around. I can do shots with it in my mouth. But we're gonna get fancy. We're gonna do it in a proper glass because uh, because I've I've got so many glasses. I it would be silly of me not to use them. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sorry, I've been. Wow, this video's gone on probably far longer than it needs to. But anyway, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's get a good close look. Look at that. Fill line. Oh, sorry. I guess I should pay attention to where I got it in the camera here. All right. Nice and clear. At least there's nothing floating in it. I cleaned the glass real well beforehand, so. <laughs> Shut up. Let's try this. <laughs> yeah, I'm put that in there. Just so y'all know. Everybody knows what I'm drinking right now. And uh, I'm going to give this a shot. Actually, it doesn't smell half bad. I will, I will, I will say that whiskey is not my strong point as far as knowledgeable. You know, I don't really know a whole lot about whiskey. Um, I have had some, and I enjoy it, and I kind of know what to look for. But I'm still kind of new in the spectrum of whiskey, so um, I'm just gonna go on what I taste and stuff like that, and. Um, I'm just gonna keep delaying this video, and I'm kidding, kidding. All right, don't, don't, don't shut it off. Don't shut it off. Here it goes. Here it goes. I kind of like the, the aroma's nice. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I hope it's good. <laughs> I might go buy more if it's only six bucks, seven bucks, whatever. <laughs> okay. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, you definitely get that kind of whiskey bite, if you will. You know, that alcohol bite. And it's kind of on the sides of your tongue. Um, but as far as, like, depth, it's really lacking. It's it's kind of hits you quick and lingers off but leaves you with that kind of alcohol alcohol burn I guess you will um, but it's pretty light even that's pretty light um, let's go for another hmm <sighs> there is there is a side flavor there that's kind of off-putting. Um, like, I don't know. Uh, like I said, my knowledge in this whole realm of whiskey is, is limited, so I'm sorry if I'm not giving the best description, but I don't know. I get, I get remnants of, like, I don't know, like, almost like a chemical -y or something like that. Not, not, not... Not something I've I've typically tasted in whiskey. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna try putting it. Oh, I don't have any ice cubes. Never mind. I was gonna try to put it. Actually, I do have an ice cube. Let's do this real quick. Now I don't know if I should be pouring the whiskey. This is the only only ice cubes I have. Just because I I found this cool ice cube tray thing at a at a thrift store, and so I've got one of these. I could throw that in there and see what happens. That might be a bit much, but it looks fancy. It looks nice. This, you know, I would say if if you're doing a mixed cocktail, this probably as, I mean, it would work for a mix. Like if you're not really looking to taste a whole lot of whiskey flavor, um, it's not, I mean, I haven't thrown it out yet. It's not terrible. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> There's just not much to it. 
I still get a bit of that side flavor that I don't I don't really know how to describe. It's just it's not the best, but hey, it's something to shoot if you if you just need to take a shot or need want to take a shot. Um, it'll work for that. Oh, as it gets colder, it gets more bearable. <laughs> So uh, let's cool it way down and take one last sip and finish up this video. <sighs> Meh. Well, it'd be great for maybe cooking. I don't know. Do you cook with whiskey? <laughs> Anywho, I think that about does it. Um, but this was fun. I couldn't help but want to just try this and do a video about this. It's it's pretty hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen whiskey in a box before. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. If you want to, you want to get yourself some, I'm sure there's still some left over at the, uh, the grocery outlet. So <laughs> run on down there, but be safe. Wear your face mask and your gloves and all that stuff and social distancing and all that crap because we are in this coronavirus pandemic but all right that about does it thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please like it um comment down below let me know what you think have you had it have you had you curious to try it yourself <laughs> all right thanks a lot have a great day and until next time see ya